Drop a like on the video in the next five seconds or the next time you load up 2K22, all your builds will be gone. Trust me, I would not risk it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka HDF, and I am back at it with yet another video. And in today's video, y'all, I'm going to be showing you the best three guard builds in NBA 2K22 next gen. Yes, I do have a current gen build video if you guys want to check that out and you're looking for good current gen builds. I will go ahead and leave that link in the description. But anyways, make sure to drop a like on this video if you guys want me to do more next-gen videos. Trust me, I will be doing both, to be honest. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. 1 million subscribers on the way. But yeah, I will be making three very good guard builds this video. One guard build for taking screens, another for ISO, another one for both. We have a lot of different builds depending on what you want, whether it's defense, playing, and shooting, driving, a mix of three, a mix of all, a mix of just two. Fast builds, tall builds builds short builds really whatever you want there's going to be a mixture of everything in this video so without further ado let's get straight into this build system okay y'all we are in the build creator right now so once again i am going to give you the three best guard builds in nba 2k22 next gen now obviously i already made a current gen build video so if you guys are looking for the best current gen build i'll put the link in the description but these are the best next gen guard builds i have a build that can take screens i have another build that can take screens and iso then i have another build that can iso so no matter what your play style is it's definitely going to work um, with this video, we have small guard, we have point forward like players. So the first build I'm gonna make is more of like a small guard that can run the twos, the threes, um, the fives, really anything. It, this guard build is actually like overpowered. And I'll tell you right now, this is gonna be the build I make. So if you guys are wondering what build I'm making to start next gen, this is going to be the build. So we're gonna start with a shooting guard. The shooting guard is just gonna get better stats and it's gonna unlock more bad is basically, it's just, it's definitely better than the point guard I compared. Hand this, I'm going left. Y'all already know I'm just better with left-handed players than number one for D Rose. All right, so then we get to the body settings, right? You're gonna wanna go with six feet tall yes six feet now 2k has already confirmed that the dribble moves just get better as you get smaller and six foot is like the, the best possible you can get with like speed and how fast your dribble moves get not necessarily unlocking dribble moves but like just how fast your speed boost gets six foot is just the fastest you're going to be way faster than any player in the game regardless of what their speed or stat says so yeah six foot is definitely going to be the height and now the weight if you go minimum you know it's not really worth going minimum so you may as well go 178 because look at look at what i'm going up look at how much my perimeter defense goes up look at it's going up so much another thing with the 178 weight is yes it will take a little hit on the speed and acceleration but you get plus four for physicals and you get there's certain badges that you actually are going to unlock and more badges that you're going to unlock with this higher weight so that's why you're going to want to go with it another thing is wingspan now if you go minimum wingspan you're gonna have a 99 three-pointer but there's not really like a point of going minimum because once again these there's no plus four to any of your finishing shooting plumbing and defensive stats it's only plus four to physicals there's no plus four at 99 for any of the other stats right here our defense would be kind of low our three-pointer is already good enough so if we go off six one our ball handle and three-pointer is still good but our defensive stats go up a little bit our speed doesn't change at all and our driving dunk goes up as well so we may as well go six one no matter how you're gonna make this build right and then i'm gonna go either compact actually you can't even go slight since it's a shooting guard so we're gonna go compact with the body now when it comes to upgrading the build now i'm gonna have a if this if you don't like this build you're gonna like the other builds in the video so don't even worry about it but with this build i'm going to go straight i'm gonna not only go a really good offense build i'm gonna have some good defense too but the point of this build is to hunt for threes when it's threes twos this build is going to be like a stephen curry like build so it's not gonna get like the driving dunk or the driving layup like some of these other good guards in the nba are gonna get or you know what i mean it's not gonna have those good driving stats at all we're really not we're, we're really not gonna be upgrading the driving at all on this build but the rest of it is going to be looking devious. Y'all are just going to have to wait and see. But look at 98 three-pointer. You're going to max the mid-range. 99 um, mid-range. And look at Now you already have 39 shooting badges. And all of them are Hall of Fame. Then you're going to bring the pass accuracy all the way to a 90. So you can get that dimer. And you're going to have gold bullet passer. Could max the ball handle and the speed with ball, right? But 
what is really the point of a 95 ball handle right you don't really need a 95 ball handle especially since i'm six foot i'm already gonna be super fast with it and especially these late attributes they actually like take up a lot so let's say i go down one ball handle i might be able to like max a whole like stamina bar get half of a stamina bar by just putting that down so you're actually gonna put the ball handle down to 91 now if you're thinking a little if you're a little skeptical about this i'm gonna show you what it's like with 95 so we'll leave it at 95 for now I'm going to put my perimeter defense to a 95 because 97, that's going to take up some more attributes. Like I said about ball handle, we're going to show you how much attributes that could be taken up. Steel, 97. Yup, you're going to have a 97 steel on this build. Pickpocket, interceptor. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Clamps, it's going to be decent. Block, we're going to go with a 55 just so you can get that intimidator um, badge. And then with the physicals, you're going to want to get speed to a 90. Acceleration. Oh, look at we're already maxed out. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? And I have no vertical, no stamina. My acceleration isn't even where I want it to be. And that's because of the ball handle, bro. So, yes, put down the ball handle to a 91. And now look what happens. I get my acceleration to a 90. I max my stamina all the way to a 90. I'm going to actually put it to a 97 because you actually get plus. Actually, we'll go with a 95 because you get plus four to all your physicals. So, there's no point of me getting it to right there anyways we're gonna max the strength to a 51 as well just so we can get more bumps on defense now you're probably wondering okay what can you do with the rest of this now there's not really a lot to do with it let's say i want to add something to defense maybe get our defensive badge it's not really going to do anything to my interior defense it's not going to give me an extra badge same with offensive rebound and same with defense rebound it's not really going to do anything speed yeah i can go plus one acceleration i can go plus one stamina i can go plus four but i'm already gonna have a 99 stamina once i get gym rat but you could get your free throw all the way to a 71 so if you play pro-am rack anything like that that's probably where you would put it so what you could do is get the close shot to a 70 get the actually three driving badges though so yeah you have a couple options here now personally i'm not going to do that so once again your options are either get the plus one of the driving or you can get your free throw maxed out to or not maxed out but to a 77 or you can get just a plus one to your speed or acceleration if you really want to or you can get that plus one ball handle to get the hall of fame quick chain personally i'm gonna get the hall of fame quick chain i don't play record pro am so the free throw is not like a crazy thing to me um that's like needed so yeah that's what i'm gonna do then put my free throw to a 27 and these are the badges bro now i know the driving is terrible a lot of people might not like this build because of that but that's not what this build is for okay this build is to hunt threes and play and still have good defense but i'm gonna have every hall of fame shooting badge 39 shooting badges 33 playmaking badges look at my defense i get hall of fame interceptor i get clamps i get pickpocket pick dodger tyler's defender i still get intimidator as well and I get a lot of playing badges. I get quick chain, quick first step, handles for days, dimer, bullet passer, ankle breaker. This is definitely a W. I think this is definitely the best guard build, especially for threes and even twos because if you're taking screens. Now with the takeovers, personally, I'm going to go with spot up and pull up precision. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm like Stephen Curry out there without the driving. You know, I'm going to fade. I'm going to shoot threes. I could even put limitless on if I wanted to. But really with these takeovers, it's just really up to you. You have a bunch of options. Lock, play, sharp, shot. It's really up to you. But yeah, that's how I'm going to do the build. And I'm going to finish it. And the name it's going to give me is obviously Playmaking Shot Creator. And that is going to be personally my build for 2K22 to start next gen. But I'm going to show you two other crazy good builds right now. All right, the next build we're going to do is going to be another, is going to be a tall ISO build that can also take screens if needed. And it's going to be more rounded out. So once again, we're going to go with shooting guard, left-handed, number one. Now the next screen, we're going to go with a 6'6 six, six height. Now the reason we do that is just, you know, we're going to be a taller player. We're still going to have that good ball handle from 6'5". We're still going to have that good three-pointer. We're going to have actually a better driving stats. And the speed... And the acceleration doesn't take a huge hit. You don't, you're still going to be fast at 9 at, once you get Gym Rat. But the reason you don't go 6-7, it just takes too much defensive stats away. And it's just really not worth it. You're going to be a lot slower as well. Like 80 speed, that's that's 84 with Gym Rat. It's not, you know, the best. Anyways, weight. You're going to want to go minimum weight. Get that 180 pounds. Even if you go up 1 um, pound, it's going to lower the speed and acceleration. So don't do that. Wingspan, 7 you, oh my god you can go all the way to seven three but we're actually gonna go seven foot wingspan um this is you know obviously not max it's not gonna cruise the shooting like this would but it's still gonna have that good shooting and you know even if you're six ten i mean it's only bro, it's a minus three three pointer it's not gonna be crazy and you're gonna get those good defensive stats and you're also gonna be able to get a 99 driving dunk so yeah seven foot wingspan now once we get to the badges now this is where it's gonna be a 
really balanced, right? What we're going to do is just max out all the important things first. So driving dunk, we're going to go all the way to a 99. I'm going to get a Hall of Fame limitless takeoff. I don't know if you guys know, but that, but that badge is super overpowered. Then three-pointer, 84. We're going to put it the mid-range max out to 89. And now with the playmaking, max the ball handle, max the speed with the ball. And we're going to get the pass accuracy all the way to where we get gold bullet faster because you don't want to go too far because look at you're gonna have to go all the way to a freaking 97 to get hall of fame bullet passer not worth it so just get the 85 gold bullet passer then with the defense 85 perimeter is actually going to give us let's see yeah 85 perimeter is going to give us gold clamps so that's all you need go with gold clamps steel go all the way to a 70 eight steel to get that gold interceptor and now with the physicals max the acceleration max the speed get the stamina all the way to a nine oh look at see now we're already maxed out right now this is why we're gonna be lowering a couple stats that are gonna make this build so much better now yes our badges are looking great they're already perfectly fine but there's a couple stats we want to boost up a little bit i want a higher stamina i want a higher vertical so what we're gonna do to do that is actually take a hit on mid-range we're gonna go down to 28 shooting badges we're gonna take a hit on the speed go minus two on the speed to get that plus five vertical plus two stamina then we can get back our 87 speed. So that means we only take a hit on one speed, one on the mid range. And with that, we can really do a lot of things, right? So you can either get your driving layup up a little bit, unlock a couple more uh, finishing badges, get your close shot up a little bit, unlock a couple more finishing badges, even get your pass accuracy up one to get gold bailout. Maybe you want a higher steal, go for 82 steal. Or what you could do is get your free throw all the way up 56. Now, if you play Pro Am or um, Rec, then yeah, I would just take the speed down a little bit too just max the free throw but i don't play that at all so i'm going with a 25 free throw i'm going plus one on the speed i'm even going to get myself a 99 stamina as well um with the physicals and i'm going to put an 80 on my seal just to get it up a little bit and that is going to be the 6-6 iso build that we're going to get now yes you get 21 finishing 28 shooting 28 playmaking 13 defense you get hall of fame in every category yeah the defense isn't going to be crazy good on this build if you don't like that the next build is going to be for you for sure anyways we have we forgot to put free throw up with just a couple more slots you can go with really any takeovers. It's up to you. I went with ankle breaker shots and finishing moves. It really don't, doesn't matter. You got lock, playmaking, shot creating, slashing. It's really up to you. But ankle breaker shots is really overpowered. And I do like finishing moves for my contact dunk since I'm a 99 driving dunk. Anyways, that is going to be the build. And you're going to come out with a two-way threat all right the next build and final build we are doing is it's probably going to be a lot of your guys's favorite builds especially if you like my iso build because this build is actually going to be able to do just about everything it's going to have very good defense very good playmaking good enough shooting very good driving but just a tad bit slower than the other build so you're going to go with small forward on this one and you're going to start with going a little taller as well so you're going to actually go six foot seven on the height then you're gonna go with minimum weight and go with a 610 wingspan. So compared to the last ISO build, it's gonna be an inch taller, a little less wingspan, and about the same weight. So we're gonna continue. And now this is where things get interesting and very good, okay? So you're gonna start with the driving, oh, that's the standing dunk, my bad. But you're gonna start with the driving dunk, get it to a 90. Then the three pointer, you're gonna wanna max that out, get the mid range to an 83. That's gonna give you 27 shooting badges. And then pack your pass accuracy to an 84 and ball handle to an 85 and max out the speed with ball and then with defense max the perimeter max the steal max the block max the defensive rebound and then get the offense rebound to a 57 that's going to give us 24 defensive badges now you're probably thinking bro this build's already crazy 27 shooting 26 playing 24 defense there's no way it has enough for physicals max the speed max the acceleration get the stamina to an 88 get the vertical to a 70 and we're still not done we still got more to go we still got more to go we're gonna get that layup all the way to an 89 and boom 18 finishing plus four on the, plus one on the close shot 19 finishing and look at that that's a maxed out build now you could go with some more free throw and lower the finishing if you play pro am or rec but i do not do that so i'm gonna keep it like this look at how crazy this build is bro what is this 96 total badges 96 and it gets hall of fame in every category and the difference between the last iso build i just showed you is this one has way better defense 
a little, but it takes a little hit on the driving dunk, a little hit on the speed, but low key it's worth it and it is taller as well so six seven iso build definitely going to be a w build once again pick whatever takeovers you might want by the way this one has sharp take and the last iso build did not have sharp take uh you probably mess around with it a little bit and get it but anyways i'm gonna go with spot up and easy blow buys finish the build and this is going to come out with a playmaking shocker i don't know why but hey it's low key kind of a catfish build but yeah this build is definitely a demigod now, so another thing I want to go over is badges because I know a lot of you guys are going to have some questions and thoughts about badges. So I'm going to go over all badges just in general, with, depending on what your build gets. So just ignore what's grayed out, ignore what's Hall of Fame, ignore what's gold. I'm just going to go over the best finishing badges here. The Limitless Takeoff Badge is ridiculous, okay? So basically what this badge does is it basically makes you jump farther away from the basket to get to that layup, get to that dunk animation, and makes your animations faster and just harder to contest, harder to get to, and harder re to recover to. So yeah, Limitless Takeoff, or takeoff is definitely a huge W. Posterizer obviously is very good. Unstrippable is also an underrated badge if you're doing hop steps or spin layups because if you don't have this badge on, you're probably going to get ripped a lot if you're doing those. Now, if you're a taller player, Mouse in the House is also good. Other good badges, Fearless Finisher, Rise Up, Pro Touch. Those are good badges. Even Slithery Finisher, but the best ones, definitely Limitless Takeoff and Post Ariser and Fearless Finisher, in my opinion. There's a lot of good NBA 2K22 shooting badges, and I'm not going to lie, the best one this year, I'm sorry, I said this on current as well, it's Sniper. This badge is so good. It's a lot of people are like, oh, it's like flexible release. It's way better than flexible release. Basically what this badge does is if you're getting slightly late or slightly early, it's going to make those whites go in. But not only that, if you're timing your jump shot somewhat good, it's going to give you even more greens. So if you're like, so some of those full bars that are in the green window that are just going to give you full bars are just going to be green. So sniper, especially if you have a low three pointer, I'm not going to lie. I just really think it's the best shooting badge in the game. So if you haven't tried sniper, just give it a chance, try it out. And I promise you, you're going to like it. Another good shooting badge is hot zone hunter. Very good badge right there. Blinders, very overpowered, especially for small guards. It doesn't let people get side contests on you. Green Machine, this is one of those badges that a lot of people probably use on Gold or Hall of Fame. To be honest, don't use it past bronze, I'm telling you. Unless you just have like 40 shooting badges or some crazy stuff. Don't even use this badge past bronze because it's just not worth it, bro. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be worth it. You're gonna need like three greens in a row for this shit to activate. It's just not worth it. Other ones that are good are obviously Limitless Spot Up and Chef. Now, what I will say is if you're if you're not at like a spot up center or lock, then don't use Limitless Spot Up. But if you're like a guard or an ISO player, use Chef, okay? Especially with the next couple patches coming up. If you're not liking Chef right now, they're basically saying they're gonna make sure that this badge is useful as like the limitless range badge so they're gonna make that the limitless range badge within the next couple patches at least that's what one of the 2k devs has said recently yeah but it, besides that you could use other good shooting badges like stop and pop is a very good shooting badge dead eye there's a couple other ones but those are definitely the most important ones like i said the most important ones sniper hodzo hunter even stop and pop i think those are the three best ones right there but Chef is going to be very good soon as well. And Blinders, of course, very good for guards. Now, when it comes to playmaking badges, there's a couple badges that some people might not know about that are actually very good, like Bullet Passer. Bullet Passer is very important. It's going to increase the, the speed of your passes. And if you don't have Bullet Passer on, your teammate's wide open, that defender might get to him. If you have, like, Hall of Fame Bullet Passer, Silver Bullet Passer, he ain't going to get to him, and he's still going to be wide open by the time he gets there. And it's going to be a lot harder for people to W, help on you, and recover and switch. Other good playmaking badges are obviously handles for days. A lot of people ask me about hyperdrive and quick chain. Quick chain is definitely the better one. And the difference between the two that I've noticed and that I've tested is that quick chain is more like making your dribble moves faster if you're dribbling side to side. And hyperdrive is more like making your dribble moves faster if you're like dribbling vertically. And I'm not talking about just like running down the core. I'm talking about like actually dribbling towards the basket or dribbling up the court so yeah quick chain is gonna be more useful just because you're dribbling side to side more than you are up and down another one good is bailout you really only need it on bronze or silver unpluckable and quick first step quick first step is almost a must as well there's some other decent good playmaking badges besides that obviously that you can use like ankle breaker dimer floor general maybe even triple threat ju juke depending on your build or special delivery if you want to throw lobs. Now, with the defensive badges, oh my god, I've tested now, bro. I've I've tested a lot of just literally every category. Trust me. I know a lot about these 2K22 badges, whether they're on next gen or current gen. 
there are some really good defensive badges here this year and the defense is crazy good this year especially so so a lot of these defensive badges are a lot better than they were in previous like i'll say right now chase down artists with a combination of rim protector oh my god if you have those combined you can literally let people dribble past you and just pressure them in the three and you are going to get so many good defensive animations from behind them that it's almost going to be like they don't want to dunk when you're be or go for a dunk or layup when you're behind them another good one is obviously clamps and interceptor oh my god the, the passes on interceptor are crazy this year like you can just get about just any lane steal and tinder is also very good another new good defensive badge is menace menace basically is lowering the stats on your opponent um so if you have like hall of fame menace oh my god the the, uh, the offensive player is gonna have a struggle that is for sure pick dodgers obviously a good badge as well if you're guarding screens ball stripper is actually not a bad one too if you're like a play shot that's struggling with you know players attacking the rib on you you could just use like ball stripper and pickpocket and just like click x and get a lot of steals that way now other good now for centers obviously brick wall is good rebound chaser is good I've heard a lot of good things about hustle, the hustle badge. The hustle badge is really nice this year. But yeah, those are definitely the best defensive badges. Anyways, guys, hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot. Once again, I'm going to be using that six foot build to start. I'll probably use the third build later on in NBA 2K22 next gen. I can't wait to start playing ones on next gen as well. Once again, I'm still playing next and current, probably hitting level 40 on both as well. And I'm still streaming every single day on YouTube. So make sure you guys turn on notice, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel. 1 million subs on the way. It's been your boy Henry, aka Double H D F, and I'm out of here, y'all. I ain't Ooh. never had no friends, I was all alone. She ain't never called my phone, she left me on my own. They saying all girls are the same, brother than my dog. She said, Can you stay with me? Now I got a girl. Diamond dripping off my neck. It's wet, I'm about to flex up on my nuts. With a check, you said you with it.